Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a hub for a car tyre. This is a very basic SolidWorks tutorial. Um, so just to get started I've opened up a blank part file. If we go to sketch and then make sure we start by drawing the sketch on the front plane. I'm going to jump ahead now and draw out the sketch and then explain how I've drawn it. This is the sketch I've done for a hub profile. I'll quickly go through it and then give you a chance, a clear view to pause the video um, so you can have a look at the dims and draw it up yourself. So from here, I've done a 210 centre line, two parallel wrap lines coming off the bat at 17.35 degrees, um, 26 mil in the horizontal apart. I've come down here, stepped round, um, done an angle there, and I've come in night so the from the center line of the hub profile to the edge is 100 mil. I've come in 10 mil and made that line 90. On the other side here, um, I've just done the 100 mil again from the center point to the edge of the step. I've also used the equals relation. So if I click this line and hold control and click this line and click equals. It makes both those lines 90 without having to change here. If I change here, it'll change there and it keeps the dims the same and the lines the same. I've done it the same for this step round here as well. I've got an equal and an equal and equal there as well. So I'll just leave it like that. If you'd like to pause the video and have a go at sketching this up yourself. Once you've done that, um, you, the next step is to revolve this sketch because this is the profile of your hub. So if I exit the sketch, go to features, revolve. And now I'm going to, it's asking me for which sketch I'd like to use. So I obviously want to use this hub sketch. So I'm going to just click the top line. When you click the top line, it also uses it as an axis of revolution. So it's put that line I clicked automatically in there and it's rotated around this hub. So if I just tick that, and then you've got the start of your hub. So from there, I'm going to go onto the right plane. I'm going to click Sketch. And I'm going to draw a 110 mil circle in the middle. And from there, I'm just going to exit that sketch, and I'm going to go to Extrude. I'm going to extrude it 50 mil. In fact, let's make it 60. And then I'm going to tick that. So now you have a hub with a circle sticking through it. But it's also in the middle as well. So the next stage is to click on the edge of the hub. And sketch. So now I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to draw a sketch. Um, and then give you a chance to have a look at it. Once I've jumped ahead. So this is the sketch I've done. So I've clicked on the edge of the rim um, and started my sketch. And then I've drawn three construction lines, one from the center point to, uh, to the edge of the hub, another one from the center point to the edge of the hub, uh, and another one there. And I've done it, set them both 72 degrees apart. And then to fully constrain it, I've done a 36 degrees. And from that, and from there, I've drawn two lines here and here. Um, coincident with this circle and coincident with this circle. Um, so that's fully constrained as well when you put the when you make them 12 mil apart, the points 12 mil apart. I've done that on both. And then I've also gone to convert entities and converted this entity of this circle and then trimmed the edge. Just to give you an example, I've trimmed there, trim there. So now I have this pie shape, which I'm going to use for a cut. I'm going to fucking highlight it properly for you to make it clearer. So now I have this pie shape profile that I'm going to use for a cut. So we come out the sketch and I go extrude cut, click the sketch. So now it's asking for a dim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut by going through all and it's going to go through the model. So if I tick that. 
the next step is to go to fill it and we're going to put I think 20 mil fillets we can change it on the fly if we need to so if I just click that line there click that line there and click that line there so I think 20 mil is actually a bit big looking at the preview so let's make it down we'll go back down to 10 and tick that so now it's starting to look a bit like a hub now the next step is to go to view and then go to hide and show and then you want to show your temporary axis so at the minute they're turned off so if we turn them on it comes up with your temporary axis through the middle of the hub and from there if we go up to pattern this little drop down here and go to circular pattern so now it's asking me for the features that i'd like to pattern so if you go up to your part here and go to the drop down and we want to pattern the cups and the fillets so then it's asking for a direction so if i click this box here and then click the temporary axes and then tick that it does a circular pattern of the cut and the fillets at the same time so the next thing to do is click on the um, middle of the hub and create a sketch and from there we just want to draw a circle in the middle uh, we'll make this circle 80 and then we will um, make that a construction circle and draw two lines one straight down Uh, that's coincident with the construction circle and I'm going to make that line a construction line as well and I'm going to do the same again here make that a construction line as well and then I'm going to just do that 36 degrees so it's in line with this spike of the hub so now I'm just going to go up to point and click point and put a point on that 36 degrees so I've got a point 80 mil from the center of the hub in the middle of, the, of that hub spike. So I'm going to exit that sketch, go to features and just go up to hole wizard here. So now I'm going to put an M12 um, bolt in. Um, at, at the minute the end condition is set to blind 50 so we'll just leave that for now. Go to positions, click the face of the hub. So I'm going to click this top face of the hub and now it's going to ask me where I want to put my hole on that face so I'm just going to click the point we created in the previous sketch and I'm going to go back and just go at the end condition make that through all and tick that so now I'm going to do the same again and I'm going to go up to pattern circular pattern my feature so it's already selected it because it was the last feature my counterbore m12 hex and I'm going to select the temporary axes again make sure not select the sketch and tick it so now i'm just going to put a few niceties on it to make it look a bit more like a hub so i'm going to just click there uh, the sketch put a circle in the middle again 90 and then I'm going to cut that so go back to extrude cut go to, uh, it's good oh, go to 20 mil in fact let's do it a little bit less than the counter bore some uh, sorry the same size as the counter bore so if I go to direction go down to up to surface click the surface of the counter bore and, and then in fact, let's make that circle a little smaller, shall we? So just to edit that feature, I'm going to go over to Cut Exclude, go back to Edit Sketch, and I'm going to make that 50 instead, make it look a bit better. Then exit the sketch. Then I'm going to add a chamfer. So if we go up where, see where the fillet tool is, if you go to the drop down here, you can add chamfers. So I'm going to add a chamfer here. And yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. So if I tick that, And there you have it. You have a very simple, basic car tyre hub model. Um, if you found this 
tutorial helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you again soon.